All right, so I was sitting here thinking, what may be the most important event in all of human history? Put your answer in the comments. Let's see what the internet says. The most important event in human history. So the Black Death, assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, that'll be starting World War I, Great Depression, Industrial Revolution, maybe. October Revolution, atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the internet, the fall of the Berlin Wall. Well, I've got another answer for you. Some of you may never think about. And I'm gonna take you out there right now. Let's go. All right, all right. So we are on another adventure. I'm pretty excited about this one because we're gonna get a little taste of what I think is maybe maybe one of the most important if not the most important event in all of our human species you could say and it's sitting right back there behind us yes this is going to be awesome we're going to get to get on one of the boats it's a replica of christopher columbus you have the nina the pinta and the santa maria and right out there is the pinta yeah we're gonna get on there this is gonna be awesome oh i can't wait to tell this story this is gonna be good i love history i love learning about the past it helps me understand where i am right now and where i potentially might be going later on and so today we get a little taste of history something that happened in 1492 who was that jt um i forgot his name oh. you know a lot of people don't know his real name his real name is not christopher columbus that's right do you know what his real name is? If you know what it is, put, uh, put it down in the comments. It's pretty awesome. Anyways, we get to hang out. You see right there? We get to hang out on a replica of one of the boats that crossed the ocean, which is amazing and awesome. I'll tell you why here in a minute. But this is the Pinta. There was three of them. La Nina, La Pinta, and the Santa Maria. This is going to be good. I'm excited. JT, you excited? Yes. The thing looks cool. It's not cool? Yes. All right, we'll be out there in a minute. Let's go. All right, y'all, so we are really close to the boat. This is pretty awesome. So here's a quick story, something to think about. So if you think about the beginning of human species, we'll call that the beginning of humans, we started wandering around the earth. Eventually something happens where we get cut off from each other. And what I mean is this, the Eastern hemisphere and the Western hemisphere, the people didn't cross the ocean. They didn't know that each other existed. They didn't know they were there at all. And what makes this boat and the two others, the, Mar the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria, super exciting is they took Christopher Columbus and the crew members and they basically take, they took the Eastern Hemisphere and the Western Hemisphere and they slammed them together. And just think of all the different things that happened with diseases, with humankind, with food, with products. And it's just, it's gonna be amazing. All right, this would be the beginning of the world that we have today. If this would not have happened, somebody else would, would have done it. I know, somebody probably would have done it later on, but he did do it. He was the explorer of the day. He's like an astronaut of the past. These, these people were true frontiersmen, and I'm excited about getting on this boat. It's gonna be neat. So here we go. Let's get out there on the Pinta. Let's get it. All right, here we go. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. A lot bigger. Wow, this is cool. Wow, looks so much bigger on here than I thought it would be. Yes. All right, so we're on the boat. It's pretty awesome, yeah. And what's crazy is this is what happened because of Christopher Columbus. Without Christopher Columbus, there is no exchange of the east to the west. It just don't have it. And we would have continued to develop in our own special ways. So when he actually came over here, he actually slammed into a species of humans that were part of the East, but they hadn't seen anybody in the West in thousands of years. So they have been developing in their own way. The genes over here in the Western Hemisphere, right? They didn't mix with that on the East at all for, we don't know exactly the amount of time, maybe 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, some say 10,000 years. And boom, we're slammed together. And there's all types of good and bad things that'll happen because of that but it's spectacular and awesome anyways let's check out this boat look right here look at these little bitty cans yeah cool little cannons here look at the front 
This is awesome. Look, there's an Alabama flag on it. <laughs> Look at these sails. Wow, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Ooh, I wonder how they smelt on the boat. So they're on the boat for a little over two months. I wonder how they all smelt. Do you think they smelt good? Like pine tar. They smell like pine tar. <laughs> this is awesome. And that's his, not his real name. All right, we're still looking for his real name. That's not it. He's not Christopher Columbus. Not Columbus either. That's not his name. I don't know why he's called that. Look at that. Yeah, they gave him a whole new name we have in history. So here's the front of it. Very front. I guess people would climb out on that. I guess they wanted to. And they go way back there. Boom. Yes. Very cool. Look at this sword. That's cool. Looks a little bitty. My arm. Like a little bitty sword. Very cool. All right, check it out. So this is how you steer it. This is the teal. Look how big this is. Stand in front of it. Whoa, that thing is huge. Wow. Very cool. Look at some of these knots they did. All this. Some of these, this looks like a square knot in the Boy Scouts. They're calling it a reef knot. Same knot. Very cool. All right, JT, check this out, the ballast stone. So when you're going out in the water and you're, you're being blown by the wind, the wind wants, you to, wants to tip you over a little bit, right? So then they would take this stone and that would kind of balance out the boat. Any kind of weight they could get on the other side so it doesn't tip over. Pretty cool, there's your ballast stone. Yeah. I'll tell you what's cool is this is how many different kinds of wood is put into this boat to make it float, to make it work. Now check it out. So here's some of the clothes they had. Here's a little hat. Look at that. So we could put it on. That'd be pretty good. But this is what they wore. <laughs> pretty neato. Okay, so I've been walking around this thing for about 15, 20 minutes, and you know, kind of feels like it's time to go. I just couldn't imagine. You got 26, 27, 30 year other men on here, and all of a sudden. You're out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. What are you going to do? You can't get off. You're going to stay here. So I've been on here 20 minutes and I'm ready to go. Imagine over a month. These people were special. They were able to do some amazing things. So anyways, pretty cool. Exploring is awesome. To end this, I just want to remind y'all again, without this boat, there would have been someone else that has done it, but he brought the Eastern Hemisphere and the Western Hemisphere together to give us the world we have today, the wonderful world we have today. I know it's confusing and complex and, and horrible and exciting and wonderful all at the same time, but it is what we have. Let's make the best of it. Thanks again. See you on the next adventure.